60% of teens in Murdertown, USA, also known as Southbridge Wilmington, drop out of high school. That's more than half of the teenage population in Southbridge without a high school education. Now think about this. What percentage of those high school dropouts are going to go on and get great jobs? Two, maybe 4%? I would say not a lot because they lack the resources necessary to be successful. People's opinions regarding Southbridge, Wilmington, which is about three hours away from New York, are generally negative and for obvious reasons. Wilmington is never in the news for something positive. It's always something negative. And that's exactly what I am trying to change. I am a teen living in Southbridge, and I'm in my sophomore year at the Delaware Military Academy. With a 4.0 GPA, I'm a scholar, no, an athlete, an NAACP youth visionary, and the proud founder of Wilmington Urban STEM Initiative. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. With my nonprofit, I am targeting specifically young girls because I know there are not nearly enough women in STEM fields. In fact, the percentage, the work, the percentage of the workforce that is female is only 29%. I figured if I could get girls interested in STEM at a young age, I'd be doing my part to raise the number of women in STEM fields. But I could not do this alone. I needed help from local organizations in my community. So I partnered with a bunch of organizations, too many to list, but I have a couple in my presentation. I worked with ShopRite, and their donation made it possible for me to fill the book bags I was giving away to the girls with school supplies. By networking with Jennifer from Inspiring Women in STEM, a local organization working towards getting more women involved in STEM fields, I was able to get each girl who came to my event a free, brand new Hidden Figures book. If you don't know what Hidden Figures is about, it's about four brilliant, amazing African-American women who worked at NASA and were key vital parts of launching John Glenn into space. At my events, the girls not only get book bags, free food, and listen to inspiring women. Some of the women who spoke at my event were Wilmington Treasurer Velda Jones Potter, Enid Wallace Sims, and Congresswoman Lisa Blunt Rochester. I have these women come and speak at my events because the girls often don't get positive role models, especially being from Wilmington. Having these positive role models in real life, not someone they see on Instagram or TV, is extremely important. These girls need someone to look up to, someone who they can look at and say, they overcame all these obstacles. They defied the odds, and here they are doing amazing things now. These girls need that. They need to know that they can grow up to be whatever they want to be. More organizations that I worked with were, was one, of the ones, one of the organizations I worked with was the Delaware Children's Museum, a local organization right on the riverfront, about two minutes from Southbridge, that a lot of the girls don't know exist because it's too expensive and they can't go there, and it's two minutes away from where they live. I worked with Rebecca, who works there, and she gave me and my nonprofit two, 12 free tickets to the museum that I could give to the girls so they could go and experience the wonderful things the museum had to offer. I also worked with the Kenny Family Foundation and Cassandra, who came and spoke to the girls about healthy eating. Because as important as it is to know about STEM and all its benefits, the girls need to know you need to stay healthy. Because in today's society, kids spend way too much time on social media and not doing something that keeps them healthy. People will complain about how bad Wilmington is, but what are those people doing to move Wilmington forward? They'll sit back and wait for someone else to do it, but it needs to start with them. People need to step up. You, if you want to make Wilmington better, you have to start with yourself. You might think there's nothing you can do, but there's always something you can do. I have a quote that I absolutely love because it shows there's always something you can do. If you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. So I ask you, what are you doing to move your community forward? If you want to make Wilmington, or wherever you live, a better place, you need to start with yourself. We all have, we're all busy people, but no one's busier than a high school student who's worried about grades and sports and getting scholarships and how I'm gonna pay for college and a million other things. 
but I make time to give back because I make it important. So if you want to better your community, you need to make it important. People make time to go to the gym, to get their nails done, to get their hair done. Make time to better your community. If it takes just one hour, one hour a week to better where you live. I know you have one hour and you have one hour. We all sit back and sit on our phones for hours at a time. You can take one hour to help someone else. I started with one hour and I turned it into all this. And here I am on a TEDx stage talking about my passion. Starts with one hour. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>